Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here, and today we got another Dallas Stars video. If you haven't seen Jake Ottinger's video, go check that out. It's on the channel, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and much more coming out of the channel here. Now, like I said, another Dallas Stars video where last night Dallas Stars owner Tom. G Gallardi was a guest on Cam and Sticks podcast and opened up about a number of topics surrounding his hockey club. One in particular which raised a lot of eyebrows around the National Hockey League was about Tyler Sagan and Jamie Benn. The two are supposed to be leaders of the stars and are being paid like it. However, the production hasn't been there from either of them consistently Sagan in particular had a hip surgery and it's been a grind to get back to 100% health. Gallardi wasn't shy about his expectations admitted with the amount of money Ben and Sagan are making they need to produce more or the stars are in big trouble. In 2021-22 season Sagan recorded 49 points in 81 games and meanwhile Jamie Ben produced 46 points in 82 games 19.35 million combined in salary cap and not even 100 points as Tom Gallardi said they are taking a quarter of the cap space and not producing enough when he says they are in trouble is this meaning that Dallas is looking to trade them What's this mean? Like, there was hints in the podcast, I was listening to it, that if they don't start producing, their time in Dallas, more seconds than Ben's, is going to be up. And that is huge. If you're Tyler Sagan or Jamie Ben and you're hearing this, you're going, uh-oh, I better get going here. I better be doing what I need to do in order to stay on this Dallas Stars team and help them win. As I'm pulling up Jamie Benn's stats here, let's look at Tyler Sagan's, who ultimately, you know, hasn't had a bad career. When he got to Dallas, he had 84 points in 80 games, 77 and 71. 73 points in 72 games, 72 and 82, 78 and 82, 80 and 82. 50 and 69 but ultimately missed the 2020 season 2020-2021 season where he only played three games due to the hip injury and hip surgery comes back last year isn't the same guy barring he did have only 30 penalties he had 16 of his 49 points on the power play so five on five numbers for Tyler Sagan isn't where he needs to be. He shot uh, he shot 218 times for 11 shooting percentage. He was 56% on faceoff. He needs to step up his game. Jamie Benn needs to step up his game if this Dallas Stars team is going to be a cup contending team. You just lost John Klingberg. You don't know what's happening with Robertson now. Knowing Jake Ottinger's back, that's good news for the team. But you look at... Jamie Benn this past year, 18 goals, 28 assists for 46 points. Playoffs, he had 2 points in 7 games. That's not going to win you a playoff game. And Tiger, Tyler, Tiger, Tyler Sagan had 4 points in 7 games. These are your two, supposed to be your two leaders that can't even produce offensively. That is not good enough stats. Jamie Benn was a minus 13 last year. Jamie Benz had a good career over the course. He's been multiple 80-plus point scorers twice. But he is falling behind where in 17-18 he had 79 points in 82 games. The following season, 53 and 78. 2019-20 season, he had 39 and 69. 2020-21 season, he had 35 and 52. And then last season, 46 and 18. 
Well, 46 points, he had 14 of those on the power play. Too short-handed. He shot a 9.9, .9, which is well below his career average of 12.9%. His face-offs were good. You can win as many face-offs as you want, but if you can't start putting the puck in the net, what's the point of winning those face-offs? You, they need to pick up the slack, get back to playing hockey. I get, I've had hip surgery, it takes a bit. But you're getting paid millions of dollars to rehab that injury, get back to your normal self, start putting the puck in the net, and do what the team asks of you. And that's it, that's done. Listen to your coach. If the owner is going out of his way to literally say you guys aren't doing enough, that should start a fire under your you know where's. I can't say that on YouTube for everyone over the age of 18 or 21, depending where you are. Should light a fire under there and get you going. If it doesn't, expect this year to be their last season with the Dallas Stars. Or a bio, maybe happy to trade, who knows. But this season will probably be the last. Because, like you said, Dallas is in trouble if they don't produce. Because they don't have the cap room to go sign a guy that can produce 70 points a year. That's it. That's all. This is Gillis TV here. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm on out of here.